Hello everyone. Today I have this lab power supply. As you can see when we turn it on, we see the mains, indicator, lightning, but also here is the overload. Indicator lights up. So probably we've got some fault here. I have a meter, power meter connected, 10 watts. It draws from the mains because it contains transformers or maybe there is a fault of some kind at the output there has to be from 0 to 30 volts from 30 to 60 volts regulated but now as you can see we've got nothing if I try to increase voltage is not increasing there, there are some fluctuations, but nothing is regulating. And uh, as I said, 10 watts, it draws from the mains in this mode. Probably it's a normal operation, because as I said, it contains transformers. This is a nice, I mean, a reliable power supply from the old days 1985 actually it is older than me here are four screws for opening and we see its internals with the big transformer iron core lots of wires one piece of One piece is broken. It's really heavy and probably some electrolytic capacitors are also not good as you can see. Oh, by the way, here is the nice decision for heat extraction. There is a transistor and on the top of it like a corona, a copper corona. I've never seen such heat sink before, so it's sometimes it's really interesting to look inside of those old devices. There is a lot of capacitors, probably they are dried out, I don't really know. I'm gonna check it and try to find the reason why it's not regulating and not outputting anything. And as we saw, there was a overload indicator glowing. First of all, I'm gonna check all the electrolytic capacitors, at least at much as much as I can. Try to see whether these big caps contains any capacity. So I checked. All of them, those big caps have some capacitance, probably it's enough. I found only this one, it was in the range of nanofarads. And by the way, I found this little PCB, and on that PCB there was this cap. I replaced it with a new one. Those big caps. 50 microfarads, actually 50 volts, but these are okay. It's its capacity is even more than it's rated. It's rated for 50, but it actually is 65. So this old devices was not lower capacity, but higher. So only one capacitor was bad, I replaced it, but also I found on that small PCB this element. First I thought maybe it's a current transformer through which there was a wire, but when I tried to 
measure its resistance it was about 5 kilo ohms so I've decided maybe this wire is broken or something like this I tried to put it out and uh, when I put it out that wasn't actually a wire but it was a real switch I hope it's correct you can see it here it was broken so I've got another one a new one as you can see it's working when we get closer to magnet its contacts come together and pass the current so that element was actually not a current transformer but a magnetizing inductor or something like this that was closing the real switch when there was some current or overcurrent I don't really know its purpose I replaced the real switch to a new one and uh, now we should tr try and check this device I connect my TCM to its outputs I hope you can see its output by the way I am working with isolating transformer and uh, I don't recommend you to do anything with mains directly it can be lethal okay I'm gonna turn it on now the overload indicator is not glowing which is a good sign I've got it on the range of 0 0 to 30 volts when I move the pot as you can see the voltage is regulating from 0 to 31 volts which is probably okay and uh, I think it's working now but I'm gonna put everything together and try it one more time if I increase the voltage a little bit the voltage range from 30 to 60 put it put the pot to its final position and as you can see this one is even better okay I connected everything back put everything back now the overload is not glowing when we connect the probes and move the pot one more time we can see that it's regulating I didn't put any load actually I put some load those resistors are, as you can see on 100 volts range I checked the the documentation for this power supply and it, it's actually some milliamps can outputs only some milliamps in the high voltage so I I don't show it here but it's outputting its voltage and its current on 300 volts it's rated 10 milliamps or something like this and uh, at 0 to 30 volts it's rated 1.5 amps so this is not par powerful device but anyway it's working now I don't think that anyone has anything like this but probably that was useful for someone Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.